Hello and welcome back to Open, everyone. Don't forget, you know, we're always inviting you to get social with us. That's right. Tweet us at BronxNet TV. And while you're there, tweet me too at Rina Valentin. So, the white shirt project. Hmm. Very interesting. What does it mean to you? Well, it is actually a virtual photo exhibit that has manifested itself into print, and it's now going to be on, up on display, bringing mental health awareness to the forefront through the simplicity of a white shirt. Our next guest will share some details behind the process of wearing the white shirt, and uh, well, joining us to tell us more about the upcoming white shirt project reception, we welcome executive director and creator of the White Shirt Project, Jose Ramon, and participants and models, CEO of Princess Jane, uh, Janae Place, uh, Javon White, and Broadway entertainer, Tim Ross. Hello mm -hmm. and welcome, everyone. Hi, welcome. Thank you for having us. Oh my gosh, welcome back, Jose. Oh, it's exciting, it's amazing. It I is love exciting, it, <laughs> it is exciting. Yeah. I, oh my gosh, I have watched this just kind of blossom in a matter it's, of a month or so. It's incredible, it's incredible. And first of all, thank you for kicking it off. It was in your show mm -hmm. that every, from there on, forget about it. Roller coaster up, down, <laughs> sideways, you name it. Yeah, well, you know, Amazing. Oh, Amazing. My, oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Yeah, yeah. Let's just share with everyone what's happened since your appearance here on Open. Sure. Um, so when after we, we uh, had our appearance here, uh, we got several interviews, uh, two, two um, interviews in my house, and I have another one coming this Monday. It's been interview after interview. From who? Interest. Interviews from? Um, uh, Sol from Host Community College did one. Uh, Gary uh, from Bronx Info uh, did one. Um, there were two Bronx more. Bronx News 12 also, right? Bronx News 12 did one as well at location at the Mott Bar, which was at the kickoff of mm -hmm. Bronx Week, mm -hmm. which was, uh, we were there. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Hello. Let, I, I just want to share with everyone, okay? So yeah. since his appearance on the show, he actually had to manifest the prints in, in, in physical form uh, mm -hmm. to do a teaser to launch Bronx Week kickoff at the yeah. Mott Haven Bar Ground. Exactly. So I was there when the Bronx Borough President was speaking. <sighs> Amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that is and, amazing. And from your show, from from when we first appeared, Mr. Javon Martin uh, was there, and also uh, Tim Moss was there also in the background. Oh, really? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. didn't know that. Yes. All right, so let's talk a little bit about you, gentlemen, and your relationship to Jose and how you became involved with the project. Okay, so um, I'm Javon Martin, and uh, Jose, I've known Jose for a while from the community, and his pictures are you know, amazing. He's, he's an amazing photographer. So what do you do as an occupation? Um, so I work for the MTA, but my give back to the community, I started a nonprofit organization to help the homeless population of the trans community. And my organization is the first only trans-led organization in New York State that helps the homeless. That's amazing. what's up. That's awesome. Awesome. We're mm -hmm. all awesome. trans working to house the trans community. Okay, and so the, I, I want everybody to know that everyone who has uh, contributed their, their themselves as a <clears throat> model uh, actually serves uh, another purpose behind bringing this mental health awareness yes. into the forefront because yes. it's an issue that we definitely need to tackle, right? Yes. And mm -hmm. so uh, thank you for being of service. Oh, thank you. To for an underserved for, community. Yes, because the trans community, when I tell you mental health mm -hmm. is one of the key issues in the trans community, we have to assist and be there for one another because t tomorrow is not promised. Absolutely. That's All right, right. Tim, um, mm -hmm. I want to uh, tap into your, sure. your world a little bit. Okay, is right Broadway? now. Broadway. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> well, I'm not a Broadway performer yet, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I do a lot of Broadway songs, uh -huh, the big show uh -huh. tunes, yeah. Renditions, like, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I'm a, New York City I'm a New York City entertainer, okay. and I'm an LGBT activist, and um, I've done a lot here in the Bronx, and I've known Jose for, oh, so many years. And um, we've worked together and done many things and photo shoots before. And uh, he approached me, he asked me about the White Shirt Project and told me that it had to do with, with mental health issues. And I've suffered from depression and anxiety most of my life without even realizing it. I didn't know what was the matter until about uh, 12 years ago, 10, or 10 to 12 years ago when I was diagnosed. And then there was a name for it. And once I knew what it was, I could combat it. I could take steps and, and accumulate the tools needed to improve. And um, this photo session that I had with Jose 
sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. But no, it I was, understand. It I was, was there with you, so it was, I, we've uh, all participated. Got that it. photo shoot was the most intense photo shoot I have ever been on because we just talked about, and we really tapped into my depression and anxiety when he just would take the pictures. And it it is I by far my favorite photograph of myself, and I've got thousands of photographs. And that's because it's authentic, it's authentic. Right. Can we show some of these images? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I wish we had tissue for you too. Oh, but okay. it's so beautiful for you to just let loose like that, right? Because yeah. that's the beauty of this project. And so we're looking at some of the images right now. And, and, and so the beauty of this project is that um, it's not, it isn't just models modeling a white shirt. Mm -hmm. It's exactly. five white shirts, right? Right. That each person has worn uh, during a session is what I'd like to consider it because I'm also one of the models. Um, mm -hmm. But you're not going to see that image on air. You have to come, you have <laughs> yes. to, come to the Miami Pride. You have to come yes. to the show. Yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. And so um, it was quite an experience, e even for myself. Mm -hmm. um, and just as an artist, right? And now we have this issue with um, Anthony Bourdain. And, and, and so exactly. these are just all right. signs in, for me that we're on the right path of bringing this Kate into Spade. life. Absolutely. Kate yes. Spade Kate as well. Spade. Right, yes. and Kate and, Spade. And, and this was all started before any of this. And it's not to say, hey, listen, um, you know, this this just started. PTSD just started and we're bringing light mm -hmm. to it. This has been around for a while. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. talk about PTSD because I, I believe it's PTSD Awareness Month. And exactly. I, I think that most people identify PTSD with Vietnam vets, right. but they don't it's realize that, that it comes from childhood trauma. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Or it could come from it, childhood and trauma. And it could develop at any time. Mm -hmm. I think the last numbers were 44.7 million wow. in the United States alone. And that's for people who actually went and made yeah. a visit. Right, exactly. <laughs> right. exactly. Yeah. You can't what about even those that don't know? That exactly. don't even know. Yeah. And these are people that uh, were affected from little kids, from traumas when they were young, to um, things that happened to them where they went into war. Uh, things like that, mm -hmm. losses, uh, the accumulation of losses, anything could trigger it at any one time. And so the beauty of this project, I'm going to go back to the white shirt because it's actually, I, I've taken, you know, a, a real special, I'm taking special care of this project mm -hmm. because yeah. um, uh, aside from myself being really, uh, feeling really strongly about the importance of the message, it's the style in which it's Absolutely. being delivered. Um, it's beautiful, it's elegant, Everybody's wearing white mm -hmm. shirts. We have people from all walks of life, exactly. uh, occupations, gender, um, what else, race. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of like all that really matters is the white shirt and the expression that's uh, conveyed mm -hmm. wearing exactly. that white shirt. It can affect us all, and there's a face for everybody to identify with. There's a body, a face, uh, a story. You know, everybody shares a story, and mm -hmm. everybody can identify with at least one. And so with that, the exhibit itself also get, shares the story behind each image or mm -hmm. that yes. person's story and what they've chosen to uh, share mm -hmm. in identifying with mm -hmm. wearing that white shirt and going through that process, which for me was kind of therapeutic. And mm -hmm. so yes. um, how many photos will be on display? Um, as of now, we're looking at somewhere between 25 or 30 or so. Look at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 25 yeah. to 30 images yeah. of people from all walks of life. You may want to drop some names. I mean, we might as well. Yeah, we got no. Richard Pryor <laughs> Jr. in yes. the house. Okay, yeah. so we have, we have Tim Moss, Mr. Martin. We have Jeannie So, Andre Chulisi, uh, Richard Pryor Jr., uh, just name a few. Um, people that are uh, nannies, act, other actors. Uh, mm -hmm. You name it. It's just a cross reference of everybody in our community. And also, we've got Egypt, uh, who's oh, going to be oh, yes. later. from yes. the house of the legendary La Bella. So. Yeah. Yes. 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 yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So um, this is really, really, really exciting. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you if you want to share some last words before mm -hmm. we go, well, I'm glad you said that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so um, <laughs> we we had a barbecue, a trans uh, people of color barbecue, and I wanted to surprise Jose. He took the picture of us, and we put it on our brochure. Nice. Yes. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Yes. Yes. Look at that gift. And his husband uh. is in the middle. Oh, and Albert's there. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Albert, for being in the middle. Yes, <laughs> yes. And um, last but not least, um, we were talking about homeless. We started the first ever walk away homelessness here, July 1st, Van Cortlandt Park, not far from here. So um, everyone could come out. 
-hmm. And let's raise raise awareness. Well, it's definitely important to, for us to raise awareness. And uh, for you guys interested, it's help the homeless NY. Dot org. That's helpthehomelessny.org. Once again, the white shirt project is going to be on display. Actually, the reception is taking place on June 23rd, and that's at 6 p.m., and that's from 6 to 9 is the reception. Then there's an after party. However, you must RSVP in order to attend the reception mm -hmm. because we are expecting a really huge turn up. So exactly. <laughs> we're going to exactly. turn it up. Yes. Oh, gosh. And we hope <laughs> you can make it and uh, happy Pride Month. Uh, yes, thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank now, you. also, thank you. I'm, yes. I'm oh, we're out of time. Sweetheart. Okay, that's I'm fine. sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I know we can go on and on, but uh, we got to give Bobby C a turn, right? Because it's uh, time for his weekly sports roundup coming up next.